Hi, YouTube. Tim Uckert here for part four of the 10 day FizzBuzz uh, coding challenge that I'm encouraging you to take part in on this channel. Okay, so um, what is the challenge? Well, complete FizzBuzz in as many languages as you possibly can. Uh, and what is FizzBuzz? Well, FizzBuzz is uh, a coding challenge where you write a program that goes through a loop and it prints out numbers uh, one through 100, except for numbers divisible by three, five, and three and five. If the number is divisible by three, you print out fizz instead of the number. If it's only divisible by five, you print out buzz instead of the number. And if it's divisible by both three and five, you print out fizz buzz instead of the number. Okay, so part four, I'm doing C, so let's get to it. All right, so to make this a little bit more challenging, I'm gonna just use Vim with a plain Vim RC. All right, so I'm going to Vim, uh, I'll call this uh, fizzbuzz.c for a C file. And all right, so we're gonna include a couple things here, standard input output header and the uh, standard library header, okay. And then we'll have a uh, function, the main function. And we'll close out the main function and we'll return zero. Okay. Uh, we want to declare an integer i or initialize an integer i. And then we'll start a for loop. And we'll say for i equals uh, uh, one. i is less than 101. And then we'll increment i up each time okay and um, then we're going to start some conditionals okay in this loop all right so the conditionals are going to be an if uh, else if and else type situation now with a conditional statement like that as you go through if it meets the first condition it will do whatever that code says and then skip the rest so if we uh, say put the first condition as being divisible by three, anything divisible by three would meet that first condition and we would print uh, out fizz. Here's the issue. Um, if we put that first, if we have the number 15, which is divisible by three and five, or the number 30, which is also divisible by three and five, we want to print out fizz buzz on those. But if we print out that it only meets being divisible by three, it's gonna hit that first condition and then skip the rest. It's only gonna print out fizz. So the first condition we have to have is being divisible by both three and five. So I'm gonna say if um, I, and we're gonna do a modulo, modulo three, if that equals zero, meaning if uh, I is divided by three and the remainder is zero, and if I is divided by five and the remainder is zero, then, you know, if the remainder of both of those is zero, they're both divisible by three and five, right? Because if you have 15, you divide 15 by three, you get five with a remainder of zero. If you divide 15 by five, you get three with a remainder of zero, right? So we want to print out fizzbuzz for this first one. And the way we're going to do that in C is we are going to, let me just format it. This is the format now. Uh, with plain Vim with no Vim RC, we have like tabs of like eight spaces. Normally we do like, I think four in C, but it still works. All right, so we're gonna print F and then we're gonna print F fizzbuzz. And that's how we print fizzbuzz. And near the end of that, we want a new line here. Okay, and we'll put a semicolon on the end. Okay, and then we're gonna say else if, okay. And we have to give a condition for the else if, so. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. So else if, um, now we can say if it's divisible by three uh, only, okay? So now let's think about this. Well, if it's divisible by both three and five, then it gets pulled out and we just print fizzbuzz. And then we move to the, the next line, which is that slash n. Um, if it's only divisible by three, it's not going to meet the condition for the first if statement. So it's going to jump to this one, to the else if, and it's going to meet this condition. And we want to print uh, out just fizz. And one thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we're making a new line just to make it nice and neat. Okay. Uh, and then we'll say else if, now if it's divisible by five, 
So if you divide it by five, it has a remainder of zero. It's divisible by five. Uh, then we want to print buzz. And we want to make sure we have a new line. OK. And then finally, if it meets none of those conditions, we are just going to print out the number. And we're going to do this a little differently. We're going to have uh, two parentheses here, a comma, then the variable, a semicolon. And inside the two parentheses, we have to have percentage sign D for integers to print them out. And then we're going to have a slash N for the new line. OK, that should take care of our code. Let's just go down. and Yeah, it looks good. We're going to move out of insert mode and write it. And uh, then we'll just quit and we'll compile it. I'll do that. I want to do GCC fizzbuzz.c. We're going to output it as just a fizzbuzz. We're going to run it. Compiled good, so that's good. And we're going to run fizzbuzz. And there we go. Um, all right, so we start one, two, fizz, four, buzz. Six is divided by three, fizz, seven, eight. Nine divided by three, fizz. Uh, Ten is divided by uh, five, buzz. Eleven, twelve is divided by three, fizz. Thirteen, fourteen, fizz buzz. Okay, we see fizz buzz again at 30. It's going up, and it's going up, going up, working all fine. And 97, 98, 99 is divided by three, and then 100 is divided by five. So we get buzz. If you like videos like this, please like and subscribe and challenge yourself to this challenge. It's just a fun challenge. There's no prizes or anything, but um, other than just pride of, hey, I did fizz buzz in 20 different languages or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, challenge yourself to this coding challenge. It's, uh, it's interesting. It'll show you how different languages relate, and I think it will be fun. Please like and subscribe as it really helps the channel grow. And thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye.